Hello, and welcome to ProTech. Today, we're going to check out a video submitted by Chris V on how to replace the crank angle sensor on a 30-year-old 300ZX Turbo. Check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Turbocharge Creations video. And today we are going to be replacing the crank angle sensor or the CAS in my Z31. So what I have here is the upgraded unit. Pretty much it's going to be in the distributor here in the very bottom. We're going to be kind of taking everything apart and taking out the old one and getting this one in. Uh, for the majority of you, uh, you're, you're going to want to replace the crank angle sensor if you're having any uh, engine stalling issues, maybe your car doesn't start, um, maybe your tack is kind of flying around all over the place, the needle, because the cast is also in charge of the um, RPM readout. For me, I'm not experiencing any of those issues, I just want to replace the one that's in here just because it's probably 30 years old. So I'm going to set the camera up so that you guys can see what I'm doing and we'll get started on taking it apart. Alright everybody, so like I said, uh, the crank angle sensor is going to be in the bottom of the distributor. So first thing we're going to do is remove all of our spark plug wires. Uh, if you're not sure where they connect to, you can always label them 1 through 6. Um, I've done this enough times to know where they go, so I'm not going to bother. So we're just going to take these off. Alright, and next up, the distributor cap is held on by two Phillips screws. We got one on this side and one over here. I'm just going to quickly take those off. Alright, next up, we're going to take off the rotor here. It's held in by a single screw, 8mm, uh, just on the very back here. And now with that out of the way, you can see this is kind of our dust shield here. So there's one Phillips on each side. We're going to remove those, and then this dust shield should come off no problem. So now with that dust shield removed, we can see inside of the distributor. So you can see we have our um, crank angle sensor right here and it is going to be underneath this trigger wheel so we have to go ahead and remove that uh, inside of the middle of the shaft here there's going to be a Phillips screw we're going to loosen that and this uh, kind of gold uh, collar here will come off and then we should be able to carefully remove the trigger wheel and then you can see just under there the crank angle sensor is held in with three more Phillips screws Alright, so now with the three Phillips screws removed, the only thing holding the crank angle sensor in position is this kind of press fit collar. So it's pretty tight on there, so I'm going to get a screwdriver, we're going to very carefully try to pry it up, and once you see it moving, you should be able to grab it and pull it out. And then there's going to be kind of like a, a connection, a plug connection on the very bottom of this. That's also going to kind of have a little bit of resistance to it, but um, we're going to try removing this and we'll see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, we've got the sensor removed, and if we just take a look at the two of them here, side by side, they look almost identical. Um, a few of the numbers are a little different, but um, who knows, maybe this one's been replaced at some point. Either way, I have the new one here, so we're going to go ahead and install that. Um, pretty much going to be the exact same thing as removal. Uh, a few of the parts, such as the collar here and stuff, they have like these little holes in it. So they can only go in one way, so don't really worry about um, the orientation. Everything should fall into place the same way that it came out. So I'm going to get started on that, and I'll get back with you guys when it's all finished up.
Alright, so we just finished up putting everything back together. Pretty straightforward job that took maybe 10 minutes with filming, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, but now that we're all done, I'm just going to start the car up just to make sure everything's running the same, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so everything seems to run perfectly fine, no issues, and that's how you change the crank angle sensor on a Z31. This applies to 84 all the way up to 89. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.